Now this is uh, Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk. We uh, had a problem with our data connection. Good old Comcast. Our message to Comcast is, may the heaving mass of an aardvark fly up your nose. So uh, we're resuming. Finally, we, we got in here uh, looking for a short trade. We got stopped out on that. And uh, we had talked about the VIX previously uh, moving down to 2150. It is now at 2152, and our revised calculation indicates the VIX should be heading toward 2142. So in the light of that, we are not short. We are long. And uh, unfortunately, we're not in a trade as we got stopped out. So we're a little bit behind the curve here. And uh, we had a retracement up at around 11.16. Looks like that is going to get hit. So once again, um, we, we are, we, we've, got a, uh, we've got a retracement right down here at uh, 13.50. And I don't know that uh, that's going to happen, at least right, not at the uh, present time. It looks like we're more likely headed up by at least another point. And there we go. Let's see, our indicator is nicely moving up. There we go. 11.16. That was the retracement uh, earlier today, but we lost that data when we had a, a uh, loss in the internet connection. We had to reboot. So our files hadn't been saved. That prevented us from being able to show you that retracement point. Now, by the way, if you did want to get into a long trade here, and didn't want to uh, wait until it came back down. Let's see if we can't show you an entry. Now this, if you look at this bar here, okay, that came down. This was lower than any of the previous bars since that top, so we, we would expect it to come back down. These are now higher than this bar, indicating a possible move up. And so a long trade right in here may have been a good time just to wait for this to run back up. And you can see that just just by looking at the, uh, the bars here. Now whether it'll go all the way back up yet, don't know. But that little move right in here was enough to be a basis for re-entering a long trade. Now, we do have a setup. There's a setup for a short right here. So if this pops up a little bit more, and if we get closer to 21.42, we're at 21.46 right now on the VIX. Let that drop to maybe 43. Let's wait and see. The VIX just hit 43. It just hit 43, right as we moved up there. And as you line this up, we were just dropping below threshold at that time. Taking a short right up in here may have made some good sense.
matter of fact, I know it's a little late for us to to, to get in because we should have we should have just jumped into that short. We really should have. But having not done so, and the VIX has gone to 21.41, if the VIX drops to, to 21.39, and it's at 21.40 right now, then uh, likely this is still going up. 21.40 at the moment. Keeping in mind 16 was our retracement from earlier this morning. Oh, we dropped to 21.35. Big move down. It's headed to 21.24. We're not going to take. A sh we're not going to jump in. No. Now the next stopping point on the VIX is close to 21.24, and that means that this should pop up by at least a half a point higher than the last high. So we're going to sit tight. We're not going to try to short this. If anything, really, you know, getting in on a long trade below this uh, retracement point would make some sense. Yeah, this should come down, break this low. Now we say that because there was no lower low on the ES since this point in time. This indicated we're going down. VIX indicates we're going up. And I believe the VIX. This is the, the, the VIX is giving us a much bigger picture. Uh, this is a temporary move down. So we'll, we'll do the wise thing. We'll go long. We'll wait for this to drop and we'll go long. Well, quite unfortunately, it didn't drop when we expected it to. The lows of the indicator continued to go higher, and then off she went. So, what about right in here? Short setup? No short setup. Fix is down at 21.27. Okay, possible short setup here. But we're still above threshold at that high. VIX is at 21.16. Next stop 21.05. This could come down and pick up this level, but I wouldn't have shorted it there. Now, as low as this has just come, if she drops into that level and gives us an opportunity for a long trade, we might want to take that. Okay, we went a little bit higher, but the VIX is at 21.13. We're looking at 21.05. So again, an opportunity for a long trade. Now this should come down. Look at these lows. This should come down and at least break into our uh, retracement line. 1650, maybe 1625 as well. Okay, that was hit. Higher low. Get ready to go long. Well, we're taking a chance here.
market looks like it's just raring to go up. Pattern does not suggest that this was really a good place to enter, though. Uh, or pardon me, that this was a good place to enter. We should have been able to come back down to uh, 1625. But it may be raring to just run up as much as it can before the close. Now, interestingly enough, uh, just as a, a point of a reference, the uh, low of the day happened pretty late, around uh, 11.30, close to 11.30. And ordinarily, ordinarily, the pattern that we would have expected out of today would have uh, been to see a, a, a new low. That obviously didn't uh, materialize and the VIX kind of gave it away. We'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in just our last video because uh, we're, we're going to uh, run out of time on this one. But what is interesting about this is that the pattern for today now suggests that here within the next 10 to 15 minutes we ought to see the spoos go higher than 1119 that's what the pattern suggests so we were looking to try to get in an, an entry in here a little better entry in. Yeah, it just didn't uh, just didn't come about but by the same token, uh, the pattern does suggest that we'll now be seeing a new high. And we ought to get a robust move upward here at any moment. Uh, nice, to, nice move right back up to the high of the day and, and, and then exceed it is what the, uh, the pattern suggests. So uh, being long right now is a, a good thing to do because of that single piece of information pattern pattern is long and high of the day is yet to occur so we'll uh, we may uh, get in a little bit more uh, if, if it retraces but uh, by no means be surprised to see this thing move right up to the high Now, even though the market uh, did not continue its upward thrust, it will. So we bought in here a few more contracts as it as it retraced, finally came back down to where we expected it to. But this should move again. It should just turn right around and move straight back up. Now in the seconds that we have left, here's the reason why we see a difference, an aspect change in direction of the VIX. The VIX hit a relatively new high here, associated with this low here. Then it went higher here, associated with a higher low here. You can look on the DPO. The DPO is divergent at that point. That's an indication that the VIX has likely turned direction and is heading the opposite way, which it did, and up we went. Look for the spoos to go above 1119 in the after hours. This is Rod Kusinen, Spoo Man for Risk.